Remember kids, don't try this at home. Mobius Science Center. Today we're going to be doing one of my absolute favorite physics demos, the dreaded bed of nails. But first, a question for you. What do you think would happen if I was to sit on one nail? You're right. Ouch. One nail has a very small surface area, so it would go right into me. But what if instead of one nail, I sat on 400 nails? There's a few things going on here when it comes to the physics of this demonstration. First and foremost, force is equal to mass times the acceleration. Mass would be my weight, and acceleration would be the pull of gravity pulling me down onto the nail at 9.8 meters per second per second. But more importantly, pressure is equal to the amount of force divided by the surface area. So, as you increase the surface area, the pressure actually drops. Observe. Whereas the surface area of one nail is very tiny, meaning that there's a lot of pressure on my body, if we increase the number of nails to 400, that amount of pressure actually falls. And then, if more of my body is in contact with it, the pressure falls even farther. Observe. Now, all of this science talk is making me a little bit sleepy. I actually think it's time for my mid -morning. That was nice, but let's continue with this. Uh, you know, in fact, 400 nails is pretty good, but I think I could take a few more. Hey, Don, can I get your help with this? There you go. So let's actually double up on the nails, and we'll put on a whole other set of about another 400 nails here. Remember kids, when either sleeping or doing science on a bed of nails, safety first. So even with the added weight of the extra bed of nails and the cinder block, once again, Pressure is equal to force divided by the surface area, so it's spread out amongst my entire back and my entire front. Whoa, 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 whoa! Remember kids, don't try this at home. I'm totally okay. So, whereas the bed of nails was harming me because of pressures equal to force divided by the surface area, 
When Don smashed that brick on my chest, remember the first one I told you about, force is equal to mass times acceleration. The mass of the hammer is pretty big. It was moving pretty quickly through the air, but you saw the way that that brick exploded outwards. All the force that was generated by Don swinging out actually went out with the explosion of the brick, meaning that the added force onto me was relatively small, easily what I could take. The only danger there was if the brick hadn't broken, in which case all of that force would have traveled into me. Well, there it is, the dreaded bed of nails physics demonstration. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, and I also want to invite you to watch next episode where I take my horrible revenge on Don. Dear Donnie Donnie, dear Don.